So it's YouTube real. Hey, what's up, guys? Back again with another Marvel Legends review, and this time we got the Build of the Earth Thanos. So right off the bat, I just want to say, what the hell happened, Hasbro? This is the Marvel Select Thanos on the left here, and obviously this is the Bill Vigor on the right. And noticeably, one of the first things I complain about, I don't want to say complain really, because it's not that, I don't really care that much, but it's just a noticeable difference that's kind of standing out right now is the color scheme. Like, I understand that they wanted to take a more modern take from the Marvel Cinematic Universe with this guy, but I do think that this color scheme on the Select version works a lot better for the figure. Just because he is such a massive figure that why would you have him in such a weird looking outfit here? Like it's practically the same outfit, but like the collar is so much more flat on this compared to that. It just reminds me of like a, a hermit crab for some reason. So let's start things off with this guy on his own just looking at the details and paint work. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop his head off for a second here, which by the way comes off very easily on this figure I don't know if all the, the Thanos build figures are like that, but on this guy the collar never really sits in You can see that it's designed with two pegs here to actually Slot into those two holes on his traps or his upper shoulders there And then his head obviously comes over the top, but on this guy this thing just because it's like hard hermit crab plastic and not soft and malleable, it doesn't peg in there very well, so oftentimes it just sits on his shoulders and it looks very weird. Um, but aside from that, his head sculpt here, get the camera to focus, I think the head is probably the best part of this figure. Come on, focus. Come on. There we go. So the head is probably the best part of the figure in terms of its likeness to the character from the comics and the movies. That big chin with all of those little dents there is very well done. It almost looks like he has a second set of teeth made of purple gum on his chin so I think that's what they were going for and that was really well done and now the eyes they're kinda weird because it kinda reminds me of some kind of zombie because I can see that they were trying to like add some pupils in there but they're very very hard to see and the light blue paint in contrast with the white pupils looks kinda weird it reminds me of like those white walkers from Game of Thrones where you have the Marvel Select version here not too much different but I mean it's all one color so it does kind of look like you can he could be very well looking at you but you know it's white eyes kind of like um, Apocalypse in the recent Apocalypse movie for X-Men which don't even get me started about that I'll probably post a rant about that movie at some point anyways getting back to the figure so let's deconstruct the rest of this guy on his own he does stand fairly well I'm gonna go ahead and pop this cube out of there he does stand fairly well, but there's not really much to him. Like they, I, A lot of people complain about the Ultron build the figures paint job, but this guy's paint job isn't that much more um, astounding. It's like, what's with this spinal cord here? It's so weird. That is so weird to me. I don't, like Going back to the Marvel Select one, that looks okay. He doesn't need to have like a spinal cord on the outside of his body. Like, why did it, I would have settled if they just this not included this spinal cord here and just you know paint shaded the back so the, it looked like he actually had some definition or something in his costume going on. Um, with regards to the the hands here, I'm surprised that they didn't give him the. With regards to the hands, I'm surprised they didn't give him the Infinity Gauntlet or unless this is how the gauntlet's going to look in the movies, which I don't think it is because they have already shown that in a post credit scene for uh, one of the Thor movies, I think. Um, but yeah, like this is how the Infinity Gauntlet is supposed to look here. Sorry, it's the other hand. No, it's not. It's this hand. It's supposed to be gold with, you know, spaces for the actual gems. So again, I don't know if they just didn't include that on this figure because that hasn't happened yet in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and they don't want to give it away. But I'm pretty sure as soon as they introduced this character, everyone knew where they were going with him. Which brings me to the other thing, how come any Thanos figure that they ever make never comes with interchangeable hands? Like, I'm pretty sure he doesn't walk around with his right hand in the fist and his left hand open the whole time. That'd be weird, like, how would he go to the bathroom? It's kind of weird. But anyways, he has a whole bunch of, like, silver knuckles going on here, which don't look too bad. Add some variety in the paint scheme. Uh, and that coincides with these silver things here, which give him more of, like, a, hmm, almost like a cybernetic look. And I don't think Thanos has any cybernetics on him. He's just like a big alien guy from like a, a godlike planet. Um, but I do like the legs. You know, the, the cuffs here make him look kind of like more imposing. So I'm happy that it wasn't just like a smooth blue 
uh, streamlined piece because that would have made him look kind of like chicken legged and not as intimidating. Um, I think they kind of skimped out on the boots here. I don't like there's one random circle of like goldenrod yellow if you want to call it that. But uh, he, he does have an ankle swivel so that's cool. You can get him the dynamic poses. You can make him look like Spider-Man if you wanted to for some reason. So let's get into the articulation and before I do that obviously I have to pop this back on and I'm gonna attempt to make this stay on and show you guys what I meant by my comments on this thing not staying in place and watch for some reason out of the thousands of times I'm gonna try to put this on it's gonna stay in place now head takes a while to click in there so I'm not gonna go ahead and do that um, yeah, but like I guess the nice thing about this sloppily done collar piece is that it allows the head to rotate 360 so you can get some exorcism action going on there um, aside from that the collar does not limit the shoulder articulation too much because there is a wide gap here at the same time the shoulder articulation is not built to exceed that wide gap because the arm kind of just plugs out if you don't have this more solidly plugged in aside from that he does have a nice ratcheted ab crunch joint which provides a lot of stability if you want to stand him up in some dynamic poses he does have a little bit of a waist swivel not too much there you can see it's kind of grinding so you're gonna probably break the figure if you try to swivel it more than that a little bit disappointed with that um, and aside from that the legs are typical you know he has like upper thigh swivel he's got a double jointed knee here which is nice it didn't skip out on that and typical you know ankle mobility so is this guy worth chasing the entire uh, Avengers wave for I would say sure if you need a Thanos figure in your collection and you're, you know, a stickler for staying in the Marvel Legends um, line itself, definitely get this guy because he is the only incarnation of Thanos we have to date in a Marvel Legends form. Um, aside from that, if you're not picky with that kind of thing, I would definitely recommend this, this uh, Marvel Select version over that one. You're going to lose, obviously, a little bit more articulation, but for what it is, I mean, like, Thanos doesn't really pose that dynamically just looking at his body type anyway, so this would be the way to go. This also comes with a um, fist on the left hand, so you don't have to have him stuck with an uh, open left hand begging on a street corner. But yeah, guys, that's my take on the Marvel Legends Thanos Build-A-Figure. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys on other reviews. See ya!